In this video, I'll show you how to use a tree diagram to find the probability. A tree diagram is simply a way of representing a sequence of events. Tree diagrams are particularly useful in probability since they record all possible outcomes in a clear and uncomplicated manner. The question we have is use a tree diagram to find the probability of tossing a coin three times and getting three heads. So a coin has two sides obviously. And after one toss, so here's our coin, after the first round of tossing you have the probability of obtaining heads half and tails half. In the second round of tossing, you have the same probability, 50% for heads and 50% for tails. And similarly, a half possibility of heads and a half possibility of tails if you tossed tails the first time. So this is half a chance, this is half a chance, this is half, this is half, so is this, and so is this. And lastly, since this tree is getting big, I need to move it down here. This head also has half a chance in the next round. And your tree should look like this. So the question is asking, find the probability of tossing a coin three times and getting three heads. So tossing it once, there's half a chance of getting heads. And then tossing it again, there's another half a chance. And then tossing it again and getting heads is another half chance. So what you do is you take your half and multiply it to the other one. So this times this times this. And you end up with a 1 in 8 chance of tossing heads three times in a row. And the same applies if you want to toss tails three times in a row. There is a 1 in 8 chance. And so there you have it. That is how to use a tree diagram to find the probability.